Hello and welcome to today's daily intuitive inspirational message. So I am Claire Audient. I do receive various styles of channeled messages. So as these messages come out, I will be relaying them to you. Um, now keep in mind that they do come uh, in various different forms. Often they are symbolic, but they can be literal. So take them as they resonate. And it is um, a collective message. So as I'm gathering all of the energies, it is collective energy that I am looking into. So whatever resonates, kindly take. Whatever doesn't, compassionately leave it for the person who needs to hear it most. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a timeless. That means that it's meant for whenever you find this. Good afternoon, Michael. Oh my goodness. So here in the States, we have a holiday coming up tomorrow. So all of the crazy holiday stuff is going on. It's, um, it's, uh, 4th of July, mm -hmm. Independence Day. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and let's see what's in store for our next 24. I'm seeing um, two parents that are putting their hands on their son, like they're putting their hands like on their shoulders. And this is um, talking about bearing the weight of, uh, of previous generations, I feel. This can be bearing the weight of your parents. This can also speak of, I'm not trying to say, it's going to be different for a bunch of different people, but for some, it may be that your parents are a little, a lot involved in your lives. Some, it's for some people. I am at peace with my age. Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. So this is speaking of this is picking up patterns from from your parents. Mm -hmm. A lot of you guys are noticing certain things. If you haven't noticed, you will notice within the next 24 hours certain things that sort of resonate with your with your parents. That you're kind of like, now I kind of get it why they did this or why they did that because I feel like there's a little bit of a of a connection with. Um, you may be feeling like you're getting older because of it. <laughs> I mean, we all hit that point, right? Or <laughs> I'm thinking like, I'm acting a little too much like my parents. And so like, that's what I'm feeling right here. I also feel like there's a, there's a, like the, the kind of responsibilities that your parents had or have. Uh-huh you're starting to take on some responsibilities like that. Because I'm feeling like it's, um, it's having the, it's, it's having the, uh, it's having the will to, to do all of that, to carry that, to bear that. So some of you may be taking care of parents. Some of you are going to be noticing that you're actually embodying the way that your parents are, were, depending on whether they are still here or not. I'd say they, um, you're acting in a, trying to take on a responsible role. Most of you, it's for taking on responsibility. Or taking on the role of a parent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we go. Now we're going into our motivation manifesto. I 
see a man and he's out on a boat in the lake. He's in the lake and he's fishing. I'm seeing him fishing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A lot of people within the next 24 hours, which is no surprise out here we have a holiday going. So um, in, within the next 24 hours, maybe spending time with your parents. Mm -hmm. So maybe going fishing. And some are actually learning how to be as responsible as your parents. This is learning about this responsibility. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be responsible in different ways. Like re being responsible for your parents and being responsible like your parents or being responsible like, like that. It's... It's very, uh, very much authoritative uh, responsibility. Any dirt or carnage of yesterday re belongs nowhere near now, but rather in the dustbin of history where we need not rummage about. This is not, this is about not looking at past, um, past things that didn't serve, that don't serve, um, they don't serve the, the current moment. So instead you just, Toss whatever doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Don't bring up past things that have happened. I'm just going to bring it up and putting it out there. Um, for some, do not bring up past pains and past hurts just to go through it and hash it out all over again for, for no need. You know, there's no need for it is what I feel. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Let bygones be bygones. That's what they say. That's what they say. Just saying what they say. But they say that. <laughs> um, you just let things be, you know. Okay. <sighs> yeah. I'm hearing that... You catch more bees with honey. This is patience. This is having patience with other people within the next 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And having patience with yourself. Many of you is going to be patient with yourself. Because I feel like this tying back to your parents and your... And your uh, Sort of like like looking at like, man, I'm kind of acting like my parents or man, I'm kind of like having to take on these responsibilities like a parent or, you know, and, and, and um, with that, you need to have some patience for yourself. But well, see, look at this doesn't even want to, it kind of went to a stop like that. Um, whenever that happens, because it doesn't happen, happen often, I always feel it as like feeling of mental conflict. So you guys may be going through that like... um don't be self-antagonizing to be like like kind of putting yourself down about like I didn't get this done or, or that I just feel it like that I feel it like that like you guys need to just you know chill out chill out <laughs> you know good morning yeah you gotta chill chill mm-hmm I'm gonna say something Oh my goodness. It's so powerful. It's like, it's like be, um, be as strong, like be as strong as a pillar, but as silly as a child. It's like that. There's this need for strength and for, um, and for enjoying being in the position of, caretaking, enjoying of being in the position of, of being responsible. There's sort of a, of a joy that comes with that. And I feel like you can, you can learn how to do that. Then the next 24 hours, take it, take it with joy, take it with joy, take the responsibility with joy. Desert. Because then you're going to find the beauty in it. See how there's like those little flowers underneath? 
you're going to find the beauty that's hidden within this. You may feel like it's an endless amount of stress, anxiety, having to get this done, having to get that done. And, and, and you know, you see all of these worries, but at the bottom right here, if you just sit down for a minute, you wouldn't be able to enjoy that. You can enjoy the, the, the beautiful flowers, allow the flowers to come up, allow the enjoyment to take place. Everything doesn't have to be so haste, haste, haste. You know, you just like have have some have a moment to enjoy, to sit down and actually enjoy the moment. That's what um I'm feeling for you guys for the next 24 hours. Now I'd like to remind you before we end is that do not because this is this came up don't bring up past things that didn't work out don't bring up things that are only going to bring up pain try to only look at focus on joy what's going to bring you joy what's going to bring you joy don't let a past don't let anything that happened in the past steal your moment of joy right now okay because then that's 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 a thief of your joy don't let anybody steal your joy and that's what they mean when they say that is that you're not letting something that is from the past dictate your feelings in in the now you get what I'm saying and this way you can enjoy just enjoy just enjoy the next 24 enjoy and if you have if you struggle with this challenge yourself to enjoy challenge yourself to enjoy mm hmm okay all right you guys this is a uh, tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's 4th of July so you see look at we got even the red white and blue in there right yeah this is pretty interesting huh? <laughs> enjoy okay enjoy thank you for joining me here today and I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow have a fantastic 24.